Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel um, here at Crypto Nation. If you're new here, it's totally free. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button for uh, post notifications. Let's uh, get started here. First, I want to start off by showing Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin and Ethereum is at, um, well, Bitcoin is at 69,000. Ethereum is at 35. They both uh, kind of trying to pull up. They've both been trading flat for the last couple of days. There's Solana at 193. XRP is at 61, so there's your top 20 by market cap right there, your top 20. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to do an update on um, on a Spell token. Uh, let's take a look at it. Um, trying to see here. Okay, that's Swift. I would have swore I had this on Spell. Okay, I've already did like three three videos in a row on uh, Swift. Okay, there is a uh, Spell. All right, right now we're at... Uh, Okay, we're at 12% of a penny. We kind of pulled back a little bit. We pulled all the way back down to like 0, 0.0 because, you know, the crypto market had like a little, I'll call it like a little semi flash crash, but, you know, but it wasn't that bad. It was, it was normal, but we went that back down to like 11% of a penny, but, you know, now we're back up to 12 and it's been trading pretty flat. It's down 23% for the month. It's down 37 for the week and down 6% for the day. But you look at the most recent, look at the one hour, it's up 0.4 in an hour. So spell, you know, it, this is one of those plays you got to be, you know, patient on this. This is definitely going to get its day. Um, uh, not financial advice, but the smart people would have been loading up on spell. Like I said, I'm holding uh, 4.1 million spell myself. You know, that's like 4 million, 100,000. So I'm holding a pretty big bag on spell. And this is a play that I'm just really, you know, patient on. When this thing explodes, man, I'm, it's going to explode. As you can see, it's traded on all the major exchanges. So, yeah, so the, by including Binance, you know, Coinbase, Gig.io, Bybit, Max. So this is uh, and it's ranked 419 as of right now it's ranked number 419. Uh, so, yeah, this is one of those plays that you just got to be patient. The market cap is still low. It's under a two. It's, you look at it, 128 million market cap is under 200 million market cap. And the fact, the fact that you get it for that price at about it's been sitting at between like 11 to 13 percent of a penny for a good while now. But. That's a good time to load up because when this thing explodes, man, it's going to explode. Uh, we could, you know, check out some more technicals uh, with spell right quick. Okay. All right. Core market cap is showing 1196 now, 0 0.001198. All right. Let's take a look at that one year chart. Let's go. Let's, okay. The one year chart, you can see, you can see where it came from 307, 612 or 7% of a penny came up. It traded sideways for a very long time. Because it also it went through a pretty hard bull, you know, uh, excuse me, bear market, just like a lot of altcoins. It got it got hit pretty hard during the bear market, just like a lot of cryptos. You look at that all time chart. Ironically, wow, ironically, it's up 81 percent for the all time chart, ironically. But the, we know that the all time high for this coin was about three cents. It had an all time high of about three cents during the last bull run. Uh, then, you know, it came up. And then uh, obviously the bear market was brutal, but it's still up 81% for the all time chart, which is pretty, which is something. Um, okay, you can see where it was at 3060 here. Yeah, it was at 3060 when it first, this was back in 2021. Okay. Um, Okay, I'm looking at the all-time chart. It looks like this project came out in 2021. From from what I see here on Core Market Cap, it looked like it came out in 2021. Okay, so when it came out, it was at it was at 36% of a penny back then. That was during the last bull run, but now then it was at two zeros fourteen. Okay, it, it, we can see it had an all-time high of three cents during the last the height of the last bull run of 2021, but. You know, then it came all the way down, but ironically, it's still it's still up eighty one percent for the all time chart. So hey, you can't can't really say nothing bad, bad about that, you know. Uh, but you look at the one year chart; it's still up fifty two percent for the for the one year chart because, like I said here, it was at it, it was between six seven percent of a penny. Then it came all the way back up here to like twelve. I think about a month ago it went up it it, it pumped up to seventeen percent of a penny, but then it came back down. I guess you could call it a fake out or whatever. It came back down. Um, going over these technicals. Now let's take a look at that one. Um, the one-year chart is it's actually up 52% for that one-year chart. 
which is decent. Now, the one month chart is down. Now, this is where you want to load up on crypto. This is where this is where you want to load up. You know, obviously, it's down 19 percent for the month. That's time to load up. You know, like this whole time I've loaded up. I'm holding my bag on on Swift. Um, excuse me, on uh, Spell Token. Well, I'm holding the bag on Swift as well, too. But these are my two main bags right here, man. Spell and Swift. And as of right now, these are the only tokens that I'm actually holding right now is both Spell and Swift. I believe both of these tokens are going to make me some life change of money. Um, you know, we, I'm, I'm going to start, you know, every day because, you know, for this bull run, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on on both Spell and Swift coin because these, these are my two biggest bag. And there's a lot of my subscribers is holding both Spell token and Swift, you know, uh, but Swift is going to turn heads in this bull run. It's definitely going to turn heads. It's looking very bullish. But anyways, um, uh, there we have it. Um, it is at 11.98. There's the one month. Take a look at the seven-day chart. Yep, 11.98. Excuse me. Um, take a look at the seven-day chart. It's, da it's down 3% for the seven-day chart, which is not bad at all. Like I said, if you've been loaded up on, on Spell Token over the last month, that was a perfect time to load up when it's in the red. Like I say, when, when crypto's in the red is when you want to load up, not when it's now, you know, like they say, you're chasing green candles. You want to get in when it's, you know, when it's already right before it gets ready to go on us, um, you know, pair, you know, parabolic run. Uh, but yeah, um, there we have it. And, but like I said, spell token. OK, there's the market cap, uh, the circulating supply, 107 billion and the max applied. The total in the max is 196 billion, but then 107 in circulation. Now I'm quite sure over time, I'm quite sure over time during the bull run they're going to be doing some type of burning, you know, burning tokens, because uh, this uh, I, I heard not too long ago they burnt, you know, about four or five billion. But if they can start burning tokens, um, I haven't heard of much about what the project, what the team is doing. I've been trying to find out what's going on with the team, but it's kind of hard. It's just one of those things where I got to dig deep. But as long, but the price is not going down. It's staying steady. It's staying. It's holding that support at, at about at around twelve percent of a penny. You know, between like eleven, I'll say between eleven to like thirteen percent of a penny has been holding up. You know, it hasn't dipped back down to like ten percent of a penny. So it's looking pretty good. You know, like I said, the whole crypto a lot. When you look at the whole altcoin market, a lot of alts went down uh, today. A lot of alts went down when you look at it, not just you know spell. You know, a lot of you know some alts are up, but the majority of alts are down. You look at the top 200, 300 cryptos. So it's not bad. You know, this is this is really normal. You know, it's traded flat. But like I said, after the Bitcoin having um, a lot of we may even get more flat action with spell after the Bitcoin having. But I'm, it's one of those things with crypto, man. You got to you got to stay locked and loaded and be ready, because like I said, when, when this thing explodes, it's going to explode. Now, as far as I talked about this already in my other videos, um, as far as price predictions, um, the all time high from the last bull run was three cents. But like I said, I feel that I, I believe because this is a super cycle. Well, now we got institutions getting into crypto and everything with Bitcoin. Now, there's already rumors about the spot, uh, the spot Ethereum ETF. And we do know that uh, spell. This is part of this is an ERC 20 token on Ethereum. So, yeah, but I do believe that um, just to be conservative, I already said five cents. It's all time high was three. I'm, I'm already called like five cents, five to ten cents and about about 15. I'll say five to ten cents. The height of the bull run, that's been being conservative. And I'll say the, the new all time high for, you know, when 2025 hit, I'm calling. I say I'm, I'm calling between 15 to 20 cents. I do believe this can get to about 15 to 20 cents in a bull run. But yeah, guys, that's what I believe. But 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 if I just want to be conservative, I'll just say, hey, five cents. You know, that's just being conservative. Like I said, the, we know that the all time high was three cents, you know, and then, like you said, a lot of these cryptos are going to go over the all time high from the last bull run just because this is a super, super cycle. And this is the one with the, you know, with the, uh, the Bitcoin having, you know, and, and then now we got the institutions uh, coming in. So look, don't be surprised if this eventually by 2025 hit about, you know, 15 to 20 cents, which is I think is very um, possible. But but with this play. Uh, you know, with spell token, I am going to have an extra strategy as the, as the price goes up over time. I am going to have an extra strategy about, you know, with DCA and out, 
um, it's good to have a play that you DCA out and have a play where you don't touch until, you know, until it gets to a certain price, you know, like Swift. I believe that Swift will hit between, you know, 50 cents to a dollar. I'm already calling 50 cents by, you know, by maybe by the end of the summer or fall, fall or going towards the end of 2024, 50 cents and a dollar by 2025. I'm already calling it, you know, a lot of us saying now that Swift will hit about a dollar, you know, but yeah, because I'm, I'm definitely getting, um, uh, AOS vibes with, with Swift. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, spell token, um, you know, I do believe that both spell token and Swift token, it will make me that, that life change of money. And, you know, in this 2024, 25, you know, super cycle, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, but yeah, that's my take. I'm gonna take a look at the community comments, see what they're saying. Um, then I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna, be heading out heading out to the gym okay Mo and most people is bullish on spell just like uh just like uh swift a lot of people's bullish man I, I i don't see this thing going down the bull we're at the beginning of the bull run preseason the preseason is it's almost over and the season the full-fledged bull run season it will be happening right after the bitcoin having we're literally two months excuse me i said two months we're literally two weeks away from the bitcoin having so yeah, let's get ready, get ready, and this is probably going to be our last chance to load up our bags, especially the overnight dip that we got. The dip that we got overnight was actually healthy. It was actually healthy, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely bullish on spell, and like I said, if I really wanted to be more conservative on spell, if I would just say, hey, I just want to be even more conservative. Bare minimum, this coin bare minimum will hit about one cent. This is def this is definitely can hit one cent bare minimum, you know, by the, the height of the bull run. And that's just being really conservative on the price by saying one cent. But like I said, I'm uh, you know I'm already calling five to ten cents, and then possibly possibly fifteen to twenty cents at the at the at the next all time high. But that's just me. Uh, I think that'll be about um, from where from where Swift is priced at now. To about fifteen to twenty cents, I'll say that's about a, that's a good, that's about a forty x, I believe. Yeah, that's about a, yeah, that's about a thirty to forty x, or maybe a close to a, maybe close to a fifty x. But that's about a thirty to forty x from the where it's priced at now to about yeah fifteen to twenty cents. And I do believe that this is get possibly fifty x in the bull run, forty to fifty x. You know, and I and I'm standing by that. You know, because the the low market cap, and then. The popularity is traded on all major exchanges. So the volume during a bull run, you know, the volume is, is, is you know, is going to start go, going up in, on this play, you know, after the halving. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, there we have it. By the way, hey, if you want to support the channel, don't forget my cash app and PayPal will be posted in, in the description. And if you can, uh, uh, or you can just become a channel member. Uh, I'm going to be posting, you know, private content, doing private lives. I was, wanted to do it this past weekend, but I kind of kind of got busy. But m matter of fact, tonight, um, I'm going to go and try to do it. I may even be kind of tired because I'm, I'm coming back from the gym, but I'm going to try to go live tonight if I can. If it's possible, I will try to go live tonight. Let's just talk crypto, talk the bull run and just get ready. So I will go live tonight and uh, maybe for about 30 minutes or so go live, depending on how many people come in there. If more people start coming in, maybe I'll stay about maybe 40 to 45 minutes, uh, you know, depending on how to how to live go. So, yeah, I will try to go live tonight, guys. It, it, so just let you guys know if I do go live tonight, it's most likely it's going to be around. I'm going to try to do it at around 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Pacific my time. I don't know if that's a little bit too late for you guys. I'm on the West Coast. So if you got anybody on the East Coast, yeah, that'll probably be a little bit too late for you guys. But 11, between I say between 1030 and 11 p.m. my time, I will go live maybe for about, you know, 30 minutes. I know that's kind of late. So I'll just probably just go live for about you know, 30 minutes or so, depending on how many people get in there. So yeah, we'll go try to go live if I can. Hopefully I don't get me too tired because I'm going to go to the gym, um, stop by and get dinner, then I'm going to go live later tonight. So yeah, guys, uh, let's get ready for the bull run. We are literally at the doorsteps. Uh, you know, that. let's go spell. Um, yeah, most people here is bullish. You know, this is definitely going to run. He says, I'm investing a little 
by little on spell. Hey, this could still be a 100x profit by the peak of the bull run by 2025. Yeah, you never know, man. Spell token. This could possibly, this could possibly like 100x. But you know, I'm just trying to be more conservative. I'm just being more conservative when I say 40 to 50x. But yeah, you never know, man. This is a super cycle, so this could possibly, um, at the most, this could possibly 100x. You know, and, you know, and I'm holding already a big bag. So yeah, guys. Um, you know, let's get ready. Uh, but yeah, that's my update. I will uh, definitely see you guys um, in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to uh, like, um, hit the subscribe, and uh, uh, support the channel. Hey, I will see you guys um, in the next one, and uh, happy Monday. Take care.